Hey guys, Sande here, just doing another commentary. And today, or uh, right now, I'm actually going to bring you Game 3 of the Pro League match between KTF and the Air Force Ace. So, um, obviously this is Game 3, so this is a 2 versus 2 matchup. And uh, the two players from KTF are Yellow, the Zerg player, and Reach, the Protoss player, versus Air Force Ace, and the two players from... Air Force are Klon, a Zerg player, and Foru, a Protoss player. So KTF, um, generally the two versus two team is Reach and Zerg Boy, but um, they have chosen to random things up, and now Yellow will be uh, the Zerg player for the two versus two team for KTF. Probably because they are playing the Air Force Ace team, and they already have a 2 0 lead, and uh, why not get some Yellow some playtime, I guess? <laughs> It's like a recreational basketball team. Why not get him some playtime? My son's not getting any playtime. Just kidding. Anyways, um, I'm pretty excited about this because uh, it's I don't I this is like my only my second two versus two game to commentate and two versus two game, uh, commentating two versus two games is quite a bit different than one versus one game. So I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so we will. have have yellow is in, is going to be in the top right corner and um reach will be in the middle right and then we have clon at the bottom and a foru at the left yeah that's right so okay so um pvz versus pvz that's how it's been all year it's actually really changed from tvz to pvz and probably They've changed to Protoss just because you can do so much with cannons, especially in 2 vs. 2. So a lot more cheese going on this year in 2 vs. 2. All right, so now, um, what's his name? Okay, so now Yellow will be sending his Overlord in the wrong direction initially. He'll be sending it across the map to the top left corner, but he will not see any bases there. And now it does look like the Overlord in... Um, for, for Klon, we'll be scouting Reach's base uh, pretty soon. So, and that is one embarrassed little Asian, Korean girl. <laughs> so now the spawning pool is going up for Klon. And sorry about that little bit of lag. I don't know why that happened. So I'm thinking Reach and uh, Foru will both open up with a, a standard double gateway, but we'll see in just a second. So now, um, Foru's uh, probe will be scouting in the wrong direction. He'll be scouting in the top middle, and now he should, I'm thinking he's going to redirect it probably to the top right, which he will spot yellow, unless he thinks he's in the top left corner. So we'll see in just a second which way uh, Foru decides to send his scouting probe. So yes, double gateway for Reach, and I'm sure a double gateway for Foru. And now Foru's probe has made it to Yellow's base, and he will see nothing <laughs> out of the ordinary. <laughs> so now Lings are out for Klon, and they will be scaring off the probe of Reach. So um, Klon, so uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, looks like um. Yellow is going to be getting up an early sunken colony, maybe afraid of a rush or something. So a third gateway is going up for a clon. So I'm going to, I mean, up for four, I'm expecting to see lots of zealots from him if he's er opening early with a, uh, if he's opening this early with three gateways already. So now he will be teching to layer. So we are going to be seeing Mutilus, which is not, crazy and oh my gosh reach will be getting <laughs> most likely be seeing videos but reach will be getting a manor pylon up in a uh, foru's base but foru will have zealots to kill it but quite a few probes are st we're stuck in that so that does slow mining down for foru quite a little bit and now um clon's links are just going to get some early game map control keep things out of the middle and etc I thought I thought he might attack, but he's and another manor pylon. So wow, Reach is really having his way with these pylons. Wow. So 
Nice drop by Reach. He's going to slow the mining down quite a bit, really. I'm, I'm interested to see if he's going to let it go up, if he's just going to... But yeah, because he catches... So that probe will not... I mean, that pylon will not last too long, but that does slow the mining down because he just cancels it. So, yep, we will be seeing Mutilus 4-4. He's putting up sunken colonies because he knows he's not going to have a lot of guys early game. So now... All these rings, rings from yellow are going down into Klon's base. And now they're interesting. And they're going to be followed up probably by a couple zealots of reach, but maybe not. So a big encounter in the middle, and it's hard to say who's going to win. There's just, it's hard. There's like four different races, so I can't exactly tell who's going to win. But um, large forces of zealots for both teams. But wow, Klon might be finding himself in some... And now, oh wow, beautiful job. So they, wow, so that's not going to be good for, that's not going to be looking, that is not looking good for Team Ace at all. A lot of Lings have survived from Yellow. And now Reach looks like he is getting up his forge. So now Yellow will be attacking with his Lings into um, Foru's base. So see what he can do there because Klon just has too many sunken colonies up. And Foru's going to go for a gateway kill. And now he's going to be followed up by some Zealots that from, um, Zealots will be scaring off the links from Foru, but now Zealots from Reach are in the base, so very interesting. Now Cybernic Score is going up for Reach, but now if they can pick off a gateway, this would be huge, but now they're just going to run and get some probe kills, so the probes are forced to come off the line. So, yeah, but now, yeah, wow, wow, um, all of Reach's probes are in, while well, all of Reach's Zealots are in a Foru's base, um, Klon has sent links to the base of, wow, I sent links to the base of... Uh, reach and reach has no protection 